Hey. Hey, hey guys. Hey guys. Nailed that one. Today, we're gonna go explore in this cold ass Tennessee weather to capture some unbelievably cinematic Fuji X-T4 plus you anamorphic footage, 24 millimeters, 2.8, hell yeah. Here's the rig we're twerking with. Obviously Fuji X-T4, small rig cage, and the beautiful anamorphic lens here. Well, hopefully it's beautiful, we'll find out today. Top handles, we can get some stabilities, and then the Ninja, the Atomos Ninja with an SSD drive, <laughs> so we can capture the footage. Code on inside out. I'm quitting YouTube. All right, we are on the volunteer trail out here in Tennessee. It's part of the Long Hunter State Park. I actually found this trail last week when I took a full week off of making YouTube videos. It was amazing. It was a great week, and this was one of the best parts of last week, discovering this trail. The reason I have this honking rig is because the X-T4 doesn't have an internal D-squeeze. So if I were to film with the anamorphic lens and no external monitor, it would look like a weird square with a Snapchat filter on it. When I go to make my review of this lens this week on my other channel, Kinotika, I'll have all this really nice test footage to use. So today's like a, a nice little double whammy. We're getting outside, getting some anamorphic footage for the vlog, and we can use it for the review. So it's just exciting. Welcome to Zach's Nature Show. I have these trees here in focus so that I'm in focus. That's why I'm standing in between them. So once again, this is Zach's Nature Show. And let's go. So I was goofing around in the forest, jumping off logs. But then I noticed something that caught my eye. An old giant had fallen to the ground just off the path. He was beautiful, so I spent some time with him. Was he a nice tree back in his day? I like to think that his strong trunk and deep roots inspired the younger plants around him. But now he looks scorched and tired. But even though he lies dead now, he gives himself back to the earth. A voiceover by me, with music by Martin O'Donnell. I'll talk about that in a second, I promise. We're gonna take a quick break from X-T4 and Anamorphic Rig because there's a specific spot I wanna take you guys to that I found last week that's absolutely beautiful, but it's a little bit of a trek. It's not too difficult, but there are some hills and stuff and I don't wanna fall with my tripod and X-T4 Anamorphic and break it. That would be bad. As of right now, I am enjoying the Sirue Siri, the Hey Siri anamorphic lens. It's really fun to use because it's so small. And from what I'm seeing on the Ninja monitor, it looks really nice. And the only other anamorphic lens that I've actually used hands-on are the Atlas Prime anamorphics. I really like those and I know they're super popular because they're the most affordable option for high-end anamorphics from what I understand but it's cool that us little guys and gals making budget stuff have options now too. It's pretty cool. Well, 
This is it. There's a, there's a stork out there. So. During my week off last week, I came out here with my <laughs> big headphones and I was listening to this album by my favorite composer, Marty O'Donnell. Um, if you don't know who Marty O'Donnell is, he's the composer for the Halo games, but this album is completely different than any of the, the Halo compositions. Um, it's just so beautiful. I kind of want to include one of the songs in this footage, so I won't be able to monetize this video, which is fine. And Marty, if, if you get a notification, um, feel free to claim this video and put ads on it and make money because your music's amazing. Huge inspiration to me. All right. You know, there are times where talking about cameras and camera gear just kind of makes me feel like a retail salesman <laughs> trying to convince you guys to buy shit you don't need. Um, so it's hard because I'm very thankful for what I get to do. And I don't have to even do this channel. I could just make one video a week on my gear review channel and that would be enough. But I really love this channel, and I really love the people who comment on this channel. You guys. Switch pod always kicking my ass.